Hey, hey Libra, intuitive soul coach here with your May 2023 monthly reading. Welcome back to my channel if you are returning and welcome if you are new. These are general readings, so please take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If you are interested in a personal reading or entering into the free monthly reading giveaway, you can find both of those links in the description box below. All right, Libra, the key theme showing up for you in the month of May, you have flexibility, hobby, followed by letting go. So there may be some divine detours for you in the month of May. This is about change, adaptability, new ideas, expansion, movement, and going more with the flow, especially for those of you who have been coming up against resistance or challenges, whether it's in your career, your personal world, your health. I feel like this is a big month for release and inviting in change. There's movement here. There is this energy of getting out of a rut. If you've been feeling stuck or stagnant, or if you've been thinking about the past, because we do have the Six of Cups showing up here right away, makes complete sense, Libra. We're still feeling the effects of Mercury in retrograde until around the 14th or so of May. So this is a really powerful time to pivot, take a detour, take a look at what is working and what is not. What can you do to strengthen the cracks in the foundation? Or for some of you, you're completely rebuilding. So this flexibility can also be about bringing more movement into your physical body as well because there is a shift a shakeup that's happening internally and a lot of you have been going through a personal transformation many of you have and so you may be incorporating yoga um, tai chi they're showing me here moving as far as it could be uh, walking hiking or even getting ready for a, a marathon or some sort of race or it could be some sort of a walk uh, a walk for cancer, or it could be, again, a marathon. There's a, a cause I'm sensing. Some of you may be um, walking for a cause or maybe running for a cause. But I also sense that this would be a really good time, even in your living room, to turn on a YouTube video of uh, yoga, how to open up and expand the chakra systems. So I do feel here flexibility is very important for you, Libra, in the month of May. And some of you may not like uh, a shakeup or unexpected surprises. Now, we don't see the tower coming in here, but Libra, you want to bring in more balance. And it may be hard at times to shift out of an energy because it may feel unsafe or you may not know how it's going to work out but I'm getting here that you're taking a risk you're taking a chance on yourself taking a chance maybe on a business a new opportunity because there's a message or something shifting especially towards the end of the month but you must release and let go of the old to make way for new now, a lot of you are going to be focusing on your hobbies in the month of May. So this could be side projects. It could even be entrepreneurship or business ideas that you have. You may be building them up on the side to incorporate or add to your career or your business. For others of you, I feel like you are working on things that bring more fun, more happiness, more excitement. You could even be picking up a book and reading a book this month. You could be painting a project, reupholstering, I'm getting as well. Some of you are focusing on music, joy, passions, and mastering your craft. That's the Eight of Pentacles energy. Even though we don't see the Eight of Pentacles here, I do feel that a lot of you are working on gaining more knowledge and dedicating yourself to those things that make you feel happier, right? So whether it is a new exercise routine, whether it is yoga, maybe taking a class, a workshop, a seminar, you hear, <clears throat> excuse me, you hear so many people say don't start anything new during retrograde but i do feel for a lot of you this isn't new per se a lot of you have already been on this soul journey and it's it's important to incorporate things that are bringing more happiness into your world and release the things that are not so that may be a little bit of a a struggle or a challenge point for you this month but we'll talk about how you can work on releasing and letting go and that does have to do with incorporating more of these passion projects or more fun things into your world. 
Now you do have the letting go card and this is about liberating yourself, Libra. This is all about goodbyes, growth, ascension, closure, life lessons, and it's also about flow. And it's interesting to note, you have that word twice here. You have flow and then you have flow of life showing up. So it's almost like the circle of life happening here. You could be coming full circle in a situation. You may be revisiting an old wound or an old trigger, an old opportunity that maybe was on the back burner or even an old job that you've applied for months ago, but you may be hearing about it. A lot of times during retrograde, things can show up from the past and we're starting off the month with the Six of Cups and the Six of Cups is the card of nostalgia. It is about reconnecting to a past memory, a past feeling. Uh, it could be some childhood memories, good or bad. I'm also sensing here that some of you are longing for more ease, more simplicity, but at the same time, there's growth, there's learning, and there's evolution here. So you may be revisiting some things of the past that, again, you've put on the back burner or maybe you didn't have time for. Some of you put your life on pause or that's how you feel, and you may have put your life on pause to maybe uh, raise family or uh, your career on pause. Now, it doesn't mean you're actually putting your life on pause. That's part of your life. But I sense that there's some dreams that you've had for yourself, but you may have felt it would have been selfish at that time to uh, to manifest those dreams into reality. So you could be going back to school, learning something new. You could be deciding to maybe adopt a pet. They're giving me this energy of bringing in new um new energy to your world here, Libra. And I like this because I feel like you're ready for this new beginning because a lot of you, the Six of Cups as well, starting off the month, is also about small acts of kindness, being kind and compassionate to yourself as well. It can be about difficult childhood. Uh, some of you have had a difficult childhood or there's some childhood wounding here that you are working on and some of you, <coughs> excuse me, may have recently been triggered. There certainly could have been past people that you were thinking of or that was on your mind. I'm sensing here that it's not necessarily an ex or a past person coming in. For some of you, it could. But I do feel that some of you may be, <coughs> excuse me, reflecting on a situation that hurt you in the past, okay? But the good news is you're taking a look at a situation and seeing how you can grow and expand from it. A lot of times we look at our pain or our shadows or our traumas as a challenge, as a difficult thing to endure, to dive into. But I feel what you're doing is you're taking this pain and you're turning it into your teacher, your greatest teacher. And that's actually allowing you, Libra, to heal some relationships of the past, especially some parental relationships. This could be romantic relationships that you were in in the past as well. This could be financial recovery. It could be revisiting a childhood dream of what you've always wanted to become. But for whatever reason, maybe your insecurities or you told yourself you weren't good enough or you felt uh, not good enough to be able to head in this positive new direction. This is about you healing for once and for all here is what I sent. So there is a situation showing up for you in the month of May that is showing up for a reason because it's something that still affects you. It's still in your energy. It's still uh, misaligned with your soul's truth. And I feel like it's important for you, Libra, to shatter that illusion. Whatever pain happened in the past that was the past. There's a uh, new story that is ready to be written here for you. And you have the pen. You hold the, the pen to create this new story. Do you want to go back and keep repeating that old one? Or do you want to let go of that old story, that old pain, that old pattern or wounding, and move forward into the prosperous prosperous, abundant life that you certainly earned and deserved here. So I do feel that a lot of you may be revisiting. There may be some pain, some triggers, some shadows, some wounding coming up for you, but it's actually coming up for a good reason. And that's why you have the flexibility card. Stay flexible in your approach because I sense that a lot of you, there is a brand new approach that you haven't taken in the past. And that's why this flexibility card is showing up. It's saying do things differently. 
Because if you do things the way you always did, you know what they say, that's the definition of insanity, you're going to get the same result. So if you've been approaching a relationship or approaching a career pattern or a situation or, you know, eating habits, health habits, wellness, <clears throat> excuse me, if you've been approaching it in the same way, you're going to get the same results. And that's why you have this flexibility card here. Now, you also have the death card showing up with the six of cups. Now, this isn't going to resonate with everyone because rarely ever does the death card actually mean death. But I do feel here for some of you Librans, there may have been someone who has crossed over that was important from your childhood. And May may be a very important month. Now, it could be a mother, <clears throat> excuse me, especially for those of you that celebrate maybe Mother's Day. Or this could be an old friend from the past that maybe you heard that they crossed over. This isn't a death prediction. It's someone around you uh, in the spirit world that's crossed over possibly at a younger age or you were younger when they crossed or it's someone that was very important to you during childhood or in life in general. But I do sense here that they're on your mind. You're thinking about this person and you're, you're wondering, can they still hear me? Are they still with me? <clears throat> are they part of my journey? I feel like they absolutely are. Um, but there's a message here of standing in your truth, Libra. There's a message that you have what it takes to cut something out that no longer serves you. Maybe it never even uh, served you after the fact. So I feel like there's some sort of consequence or a, a wound that you thought you covered up, you thought you healed, you thought maybe it turned into a scar, but it really, it started re, uh, reopened. Something reopened a wound here for you, Libra, whether it was financial insecurities, a relationship or health. But I feel like it's important for you to realize that you've gone through that cocoon process, right? The death card is like that butterfly and caterpillar scenario of the caterpillar going through that cocoon process and that cocoon process is actually quite sticky it's quite uncomfortable however that uh, butterfly must fight its way out of that cocoon it must use its newly found wings and i feel like there's this new energy of you having your wings and this this actually reminds me of virgo's reading as well so if you have virgo in your chart libra or you are on that virgo cusp you may want to check out that reading as well because i feel that there's something around a rebirth happening here for you with this death energy and this rebirth is showing up at the beginning of may the death card is all about transformation. It is about that circle of life and time of an ending, a time of a new beginning, and it goes round and round, right? That is the process here of rebirth, renewal, transition, and growth. So don't hang on to the past. The, the past is now in the past, and I feel it's important for you, if you are going to the past, think of those challenges or those disappointments as your teacher, and also remember the good things along the way as well. Now, mid-month, you do have the High Priestess and Three of Swords. Now, there could be something that your intuition is trying to get your attention on. It could be a trigger. It could be even that there is some sort of hidden truth here showing up. And Spirit is saying it's time for you to get truly honest with yourself about what needs to kind of come out, what needs to shift, what needs to change. A lot of you are highly intuitive Librans, okay? A lot of you may even have a profession as maybe a psychic, a seer, a healer, a reader. You may be an influencer or you have this calling towards a spiritual path, even if it's not a professional uh, direction, it's within your personal world. And I do feel here for a lot of you Librans, this high priestess is all about mystery, of course. It's about truth. It's about secrets, but it can be about trusting that inner wisdom. So if something around you feels feels uh, like you must pay more attention to it, then pay attention to it because someone around you may be wearing a false mask or it's not as it seems, okay? But it can be confusing, especially in retrograde uh, because you do have the all that glitters card, Libra. And it's it says basically, and we'll dive into it further down in your reading, but basically it says all that glitters isn't always gold. And it could be that some opportunity that shows up or a relationship or 
just anything for you it shows up trust your gut because it may be it may cause for disappointment if you don't listen to your inner truth okay and that could also be hanging on to something that your intuition is telling you that it's time to let go of libra and whether that is reconciling it could be forgiveness it could be having a difficult or hard conversation and sometimes when we talk about liberating ourselves or freeing ourselves we don't realize that sometimes that is about having that conversation that's challenging or difficult with a loved one it could be telling someone how we feel it could be telling someone what we need from them or how we need them to you know contribute more or help us out more, understand more, right? I feel like there's this energy of you doing something that may feel a little, a little bit challenging or uncomfortable, but ultimately that's going to lead you towards freedom. So you're letting go of something that's been weighing on you, Libra. So I don't mind seeing this three of swords because you have the awareness, you have the truth, you have the intuition to guide you forward, to guide you towards calmer waters. Now, towards the end of the month, you actually have the two of wands and you had the two of swords, but I had to clarify the double twos because you have some choices to make here. And sometimes you can feel a little bit indecisive, Libra. So I clarified, I clarified it with the page of wands. So this is about you going in search, search for the truth, searching for the meaning, staying curious. This is about you not necessarily jumping to conclusions, uh, but trusting along the way and finding maybe even some facts that back up that intuition because she has that magnifying glass here is the truth the truth i mean we all have our own personal truth and then there is of course the the collective truth but i do feel here that in order for you to make this choice or make this next step there's something within your rational mind and your heart that needs to be in alignment so the two of wands is all about taking the next steps you see here that she has the world in her hands. Libra, you literally hold the world in your hands. The world is that completion, right? There is that energy here of victory and celebration and success. But why are you contemplating making this move when you already know that you're the magician holding the world? You can see that she's looking out there into the ether. She's looking out into the stars and the sun and the moon are shining here. And she, she knows that there's some sort of grass that is greener if she waters it, right? So what direction does she want to go in? The two of wands can be about planning. It can be about making decisions here when it comes to passion projects, goals. What is your vision, Libra? And some of you have had a vision based on a past illusion or based on past trauma, past pain or disappointment or hurt or loss or grief that may have been difficult for you with the two of swords to make a decision. Decision. I sense towards the end of the month, you're going to realize that you hold this choice. Some of you, it's in partnerships. For others of you, you're really reflecting and using this time in the month of May to make a decision to let go of something that no longer serves you in order for you to put your attention on things that make you feel good, that you're enthusiastic about. That magnifying glass there, if she wasn't interested or curious about it, she wouldn't look at it so closely. So remember that. Sometimes the things that we really want to, uh, to know more about, it may start from that curiosity. So some of you Librans may be saying, well, I'm not quite sure what my hobby is, or I don't even feel like I have an interest, or I don't even know where to start. If you don't know where to start or what decision, go with what you are curious about. What spikes your interest? What do you want to know a little bit more of? I'm also getting here with the toucan in the background and the parrot, it's important for you, and I don't know if you could hear through the reading, I'm sure you could, my throat chakra started to activate uh, where I had to clear my throat. So for some of you Libras, it's about getting something off your chest, something that may have been difficult. Difficult Again, the challenging or hard conversations, remember as Glennon Doyle always says, we can do hard things. You, my beautiful Librans, can do hard things. So whatever this is, it could be telling that boss that really you don't want to work for them because you are 
an empowered individual that has so much skills and gifts and talents that will be appreciated elsewhere, right? It could be that you tell someone who has been admonishing you or neglecting your love or could be a family member who always puts you down. It could be telling them that you've set a healthy boundary and you need to love from a distance, right? And that may be challenging for you, especially for those of you that are over givers or you tend to be people pleasers or you tend to kind of uh, lead forward or backwards into the boundary sector where sometimes people walk over you or sometimes it may feel like you take advantage or other people take advantage. Please take that as it resonates. But the page of wands showing up here as your final outcome is about receiving a message as well and you actually have the message in a bottle so I feel towards the end of the month there's a message coming in or some sort of news because you've decided to shift your energy and because you've decided to shift your energy there's something that may be showing up here it could be a message from again an old employer an old friend someone from the past with the six of cups for others of you if you've been wanting to shift in your career in your relationship there's a decision that you're going to make and you are either telling someone or giving them a message or it's coming towards you all right libra when it comes to career finances money wealth and income you have the mass card showing up and this is interesting because you also have the all that glitters which has a mask on it as well and you also have the three of swords and the letting go so there could be a situation where maybe someone sold from you sold your time sold your energy sold your money sold your ideas or your efforts or they may have i'm getting here mirrored or mimicked something that you have done. They may have taken credit for your work as well. Now, this can be about finding money, saving pennies. It can be about a secret stash, but I'm getting here truth, loyalty, and honesty, being honest about your path, what it is that brings you happiness and excitement. If you are not doing something that excites you and fuels you every single day, I feel like you wanna shift that energy up. Now, you may be an actor, Libra, or an actress. You may be an assistant, an executive assistant, uh, or you you may assist other people in their healing or uh, whatever it may be. I feel like you're very resourceful, you're very helpful, and you do assist others. But do you assist yourself? Are you true to yourself and your own uh, you know, ideas? And are you acting upon them? Is your soul's truth really aligned with what's happening in your outer world? This can be about hidden potential as well. So some of you are diving into unknown territory but there may be a little bit of fear, right? Just like that cocoon and that butterfly, there's a little bit of fear in that cocoon because that, that caterpillar probably thinks that it's gonna die with the death energy, right? But ultimately, it's really having a spiritual awakening, growing those butterfly wings and is able to see from a higher perspective that they weren't able to see before. Now, you also have the anchor and the frame. Now, some of you have had money blocks. There may be a big shift around financial energy in the month of May. You may be letting go of an old way of thinking. Some of you struggled with financial dependency. There could have been bankruptcy, foreclosure. Some of you had to borrow money from a bank, borrow money from a family member. I'm just getting here this stuck energy of borrowing or being far in debt where you wanted to let go, come out of that energy and you've done a lot of work on yourself, but there is a frequency shift. There's an energetic shift happening that's going to allow you to pick up anchor is what I feel here. Pick up anchor, shift things around. You may have to pick up that anchor a couple different times. Revisit why is it stuck? What is it stuck in? And what this means symbolically is taking a look at what is anchoring you Libra to a situation when it comes to money. Is it uh, your job? Is it the people that you work with? Is it a belief around money that you feel like you don't have enough? Is there a, a belief around your relationship with money that says it's always going to be a struggle? Or uh, money is the seed of evil, right? What is your belief around money? What is anchoring you from moving forward here? This is about you uh, being financially sound. The reason why you're wanting to pick up Anchor is to generate 
additional income that's going to support your goals, support your dreams, and support your life here on earth. That's our birthright, right? We didn't come here to, to, to fail, right? But I don't believe necessarily in failure. That's just the duality that we have here on earth. So a lot of you, that could even be a limiting belief, right? You feel like you'll fail if you move forward. You have to stay put in a situation or you've already put 20 years. You might as well stay. For some of you, if your soul is telling you to stay, then stay. But if your soul is saying, I'm not being true with my soul's purpose. I'm just staying out of obligation. I'm staying out of fear. I'm staying out of, uh, you know, loyalty for this place, this company, or loyalty to my, you know, whatever this is here. I feel like you are questioning, is this true for me? And what is my motive? What is my why? Again, definitely seek out that Virgo rating if you have any Virgo in your chart or you're on the cusp because a lot of mirrored uh, energies here. Now, this could be travel as well for you, Libra. This is water related. Some of you really benefit from being by or near water. Some of you may live on a lake. That may be a goal. That may be a dream to live near the water or the ocean. Or some of you are planning a trip as well because you do have that two of uh, two of wands. So you may be planning a trip to the water or it could be anywhere, of course. Uh, it could be traveling by ship, uh, cruise line, boat as well. For others of you, I feel like you really are revitalized by taking a, a long bath, a nice hot or cold shower, hydrating yourself as well. So water is important for you, Libra. And next we have the frame card. Now this is showing up here a little bit at the end of May, even June, where this is about steady income, organization, accomplishments. You may have a career in the art and design field. This could be home oriented. Some of you Librans are self-employed. I feel like there could be a certification or a new one that is uh, being put on your wall. And it could be that you've taken a class, a course, a workshop, you've gained a certification, or there could be some additional continuing education here. So some of you may be studying or prepping for an exam or a class here. For others of you, I feel like this is reaching those accomplishments and you're going to reach them and some of you forgot that you have hopes and you have dreams and that you are the creator you are the manifester and you may have lost hope somewhere along the way you're regaining that hope here Libra and I see a lot of amazing things coming in for you when it comes to love, some of you, not all of you, please take it as it resonates with your energy. We'll take a look at those that are single, those that are partnered, and those that uh, may be healing. Some of you, there could have been an ex that came back from the past, of course, or someone that you've been on and off with because you have the six of cups. You do have the death. There could have been a break. There could have been something quite challenging, disappointing that had happened. Uh, this person may want you back or you may be with them now, but your intuition is cautioning you. It's saying red flag, red flag. It could be about freeing yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. Now for others of you, there is an illusion around a relationship based on a past experience. So whether the old illusion is this person cheated, everybody's going to cheat, right? I feel like there is either a new person that there's some fears that they're going to do it or you're with that person that may have hurt you and you can't seem to get that story out of your head. Free yourself, whatever that is here, let go. This is about goodbyes, ascension, growth, liberating yourself. It's about life lessons. It doesn't have to be a romantic partner, although this is romance angels. This could also be a family member. I'm getting mother for some of you. This could be even sister or sibling. Uh, it could also be with this uh, free yourself. Some of you may be stuck in the past. And you know what they say about the past. I think it's uh, the past is depression. The future is anxiety. So if a lot of you may feel uh, anxiety or you may feel depressed or there's just this energy of coming back Back to center, coming back to center for you Librans. Of course, retrograde is a really good time to reevaluate, but I do sense by mid-month and towards the end of the month, you're going to come back to center here and focus on what is true for you. And it's time to reclaim your power. Free yourself from a situation that was you were struggling with and it was painful and it was challenging and difficult. 
Now you have give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. So if this is not resonating with a lover, take a look at a family situation, right? Maybe it's your own child. Perhaps it is, you know, a sibling or it is a parent and someone is trying to prove to you that they're they're getting better. Or this could also be you being flexible instead of just maybe casting away someone or just allowing someone to come in What uh, and really accepting and believing everything there's that in between there is the energy of actions and words aligning right so some of you this is about giving a relationship a chance and letting go of some of the fears of the past because again this past relationship dynamic whether it's the same person it's a new person whether it's a family member a friend a lover this is a brand new energy and the past doesn't have to repeat itself unless we haven't learned a lesson. Now, if you are still finding that you are in the same energy of the past, then that may be the same energy that shows up. So if you've learned a lesson or you don't want to repeat it or, you know, it's about shifting that timeline. It is about jumping into a new frequency so you can have a better outcome. Really release yourself, liberate yourself and allow things to flow, but be flexible along the way because there is movement here here in matters of the heart. Now, some of you need to re-spark and rekindle. There could be a birthday. There could be a relationship. There could be a holiday where it's important for you to enjoy the bliss holiday time together, whether it's taking a second honeymoon, getting together with family, a barbecue, a birthday party, a retirement party. It could be a going away party. It could be a moving in home, uh, a new home celebration here. It could be a new baby, the birth of uh, the birth of a new idea. I'm just getting celebratory energy with this honeymoon. So this is about having fun, making more play, more time for play in your world, Libra. All right. Now, what do we have from the soul truth? You actually have three cards that came out. And this is quite interesting. Uh, most signs, they got one or two here. But I feel that your soul is really trying to get you, your attention. Are you listening, Libra? I love this part of the reading. I love the whole readings. But this is the part I recommend, especially for my, my list makers out there, those that like to write things down or very visual. It may be important for you to write this down or at least put this in your watch later and come back and frequent this question or these questions questions here it can help you on your path to whom am I comparing myself right now when you are able to see what you are able to see Libra in another is only visible because it is within you ready to be brought out shine light on this feeling of not enough and see the truth all that you need and want is within you today is soul action Today, stop comparing and start creating. Okay, sometimes we compare. We compare maybe even subconsciously. Some of you may be saying, oh, Melissa, I don't compare. I feel good. I release judgment. But are we comparing ourselves based on societal standards or, you know, uh, the way that we were raised, familia, traditions, things of that nature? It could even be comparing ourselves to the old us, right? But I do feel that there is this energy of, of when I was this way or uh, when I was in this relationship or when things were simpler. So I do feel like there is a little bit of comparison comparing, but if you're going to do any sort of comparing, right, uh, I feel like it's important for you to become better, not bitter. Compare yourself to who you were, you know, yesterday. You've grown a lot, and this is about you. You've taken accountability, Libra. You've taken action, and I feel like you have been on this healing journey. So again, pat yourself on the back because you have come a long way even if it feels like you haven't been seen or heard because some of you feel like you, you've you been left on the sideline while everyone else is that magnificent manifester or they have this dream life or they're able to do that or tackle their goals. Guess what? You are on your way, Libra, to success as well. Are you afraid to be seen? The world doesn't want you to hold back any longer. It's time to shine your unique light on the world. Libra, you were made from love and from love you are whole. You were made from source and from source you are whole. Whatever energies, whatever words you want to use interchangeably, but know that there's no more hiding. There's no more shame. There's only truth. So live naked and free. And what that means is be vulnerable. Open yourself up because this world needs you and this world needs your gifts and what you have here to offer. Okay, today's soul action. What parts of you do you hide, Libra, so you can be socially accepted and fit in? 
Are you being authentic? Do you allow yourself to be all of you? What do you need to feel so you can be safe and be seen? And journal those answers because sometimes we are afraid of putting ourselves out there. You have the mask showing up twice. So it could be fear of rejection. It could be fear of vulnerability. If I'm this way, are they gonna accept me? Are they going to compare me? Are they going to judge me? So this comparison, it could be your fears of other people comparing you. And then lastly here, we have, am I letting fear stop me? And I say this in probably every reading, hopefully you have this, uh, you know, drilled in. Am I letting fear stop me? What do I say about fear, false evidence appearing real? Are you experiencing a mountain of fear, Libra? Are you stalling, freezing, or wanting to give up? The juicy secret is that you are the boss of fear. You are unstoppable. But it's up to you to see that by taking action. And we just talked about how you have and how you are. Don't quit now before the finish line. Today's slow action. Be brave and do it scared. Choose one fear and move through it. You are in need of a hero, Libra, so that is who you will become, absolutely. You don't need anyone to come in and save you. You're gonna save yourself, and that's powerful. That is better than any sort of something coming in to save us is when we become our own hero. All right, let's take a look and see what messages are coming in from your spiritual helpers in the subtle realms. We have transformation, and that's death showing up here in a nutshell, and it says, Things are changing at a cellular level. There's deep healing taking place. Yay! There, that's why we have this Three of Swords. This isn't, what I'm getting intuitively is this Three of Swords isn't something that's going to break your heart in the month of May. I'm not feeling that in this reading. I feel like this is something of the past, hence the Six of Cups. This Three of Swords, some of you may have been carrying for ages, it feels like, right? It could be some sort of deep pain. Even if this happened a year ago, it may have trumped all other pains, right? So I do feel here that this isn't something new, but there is deep healing on a cellular level. And that's why you have this transformative shift that you're going through. Smack dab in the middle of the Six of Cups and the Three of Swords is the death. So know that you are healing. Know that things are changing. Know that you are independent. You have this gift here of independence, Libra. You have the gift of beauty, right? Regardless if you're female or male, you enjoy uh, luxury and being surrounded by by things that are bright and shiny, right? But sometimes we ch chase after bright and shiny just because that's what we, we like those things. But sometimes we fail to trust our intuition that what's underneath bright and shiny may be rotten, right? It may be fool's gold. And that's what we see. We see her sitting, and this isn't fool's gold though, when she's staying in her truth and she knows that this is a learning opportunity and experience for evolution, for soul growth, she really is sitting on that throne, that golden throne throne and look at her she's connected and she knows that she is whole you know libra that you are whole you also have imrama where are you being called to journey to there's a journey here whether it's a spiritual journey uh, an emotional a physical journey or like i said this is a part of the spiritual journey but your your human experience is being called at this time to do something different to step into this new energy there's a shift here that's happening and it may affect your outer world in a very big way libra i'm excited to do your june readings because i feel june and july are going to be a, a catalyst it may feel chaotic but in an excited chaotic it's like getting on a plane to go skydiving and you know you're you're if you've ever done that, I've done it twice, it's, it's super, you should check it out, but it's like getting in that plane and getting up there and right before you're ready to jump, there's all this exciting energy and then boom, you do it. And I feel like that's what's happening. I mean, maybe some of you are literally going skydiving, but I'm getting the energy of this excitement, this rush of, of energy, rush of inspiration, rush of feeling alive. And that is the purpose here on earth is to feel alive because we, we so are. Now, messages from your animal spirits. You have grasshopper and it says, take a leap of faith or jump out that airplane, right? Take a leap of faith, Libra, because you have what it takes to succeed in all areas of your world. You also have nightingale. This says love is all around and it's kind of 
counterintuitive or a tad bit ironic because Libra is ruled by Venus and Libra is all about love, but sometimes uh, Librans can even come across as a little bit aloof. You may be, you may have been asked, well, do you, you know, are your emotions there? Do you even care about this situation? And, but you do on a deep level, but it doesn't mean that you have to constantly be showing that. And that may be misleading or other people misunderstand you because of that Libra. But it's important for you also to recognize that love is all around. You also have rabbit. Now is a lucky time. There is a fortuitous type of energy that's shifting here, especially in the near future, where a lot of you may be multiplying your uh, finances, your abundance. I mean, there could be a literal birth coming in here for some of you because you see the two rabbits and the rabbits are constantly multiplying, but they're also very busy. Um, we have here card 41, 30, and 49. Some of you may be those ages. Uh, you may even have a birthday on maybe the fifth or even the third, fourth or ninth. So I do feel for a lot of you, you're shifting towards more happiness, more joy, more abundance. And I'm also sensing a fair offer or a message or even a, an apology coming in, Libra. There could even be an apology. All right. Uh, you have one of the longer readings. So I do feel it's going to be a very exciting month for you ahead. Now you have, for your final two cards, you have all that glitters and you have message in a bottle. So as I mentioned earlier, there could be a situation that uh, is shiny, right? And it's it's this energy here where it's calling for your intuition to really go within. And I do see here, it's card 16. That is the tower in tarot. Let's just take a look and get the message for you, Libra. All right, 16, a need to see beyond the superficial. It says the desire to don a mask or dress something up to disguise its true nature. If that is you, if you feel like you're dressing something up to disguise its nature, uh, or if someone is doing this to you, Libra, it's definitely time to reassess. Uh, is this right for me or do I need to release, let this go? This is trying to be something you're not. Uh, for some of you, I feel like there's a shift of someone around you as well. It may infuriate you because someone is acting in one way, but their energy is over here. So they're misaligned and that may be triggering you. Some of you may feel misaligned as well. And the prosperity message is this. It's only human to want to adorn oneself in trinkets and paint a pretty picture of oneself. It's natural to want to acquire the trappings of status or to deny them as a statement of rebellion. But if it sparkles, is it better? Whether it's a fast car, a big house, a title or position, the stamp of authority or the sparkling of a diamonds. These icons let you know something about a person, place or thing. Or do they? The truth is that people seek to acquire things because of what they will do for them and how they symbolically will elevate them and make them more attractive. This card signals that it's time to see beyond the adornments and probe underneath the surface. Learn to recognize the masks people wear and the motives underlying them. Imagine that all the glitter is gone. Would you still desire the object or person? So very powerful energy here. So you may be asking yourself this, and that's why you have the letting go. And then last but not least here, you do have card 15. I won't read from the guidebook, Libra, but I do feel with this page of wands, there is a message showing up for you. Again, some sort of communication, but this is all about you staying enthusiastic, staying curious, and letting your eagerness for creativity, passion, and I'm getting here, some of you may be wanting to start a new project, whether this is around the house, this could be a company, uh, you may be receiving news or a sign from the universe that is saying yes, yes to this project, go forward, because you also have that frame card. That is what I have for you, Libra, for May 2023. I hope this resonates, beautiful souls. If so, please feel free to hit that thumbs up button. Feel free to share, like, subscribe, and comment. Thank you so much for tuning in. Lots of love.